Should Solid Snake ever get another game? And we don't mean a remake. We don't mean a remaster. We mean a full new Solid Snake story. We understand there's going to be some hurdles, which we're going to mention, but I do leave it up to you with a question of the day for you, which is, do you think Solid Snake should ever get another game? Genuinely, and why or why not? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, the first thing I want to say is that I understand the biggest problem with this, that something like the Silent Hill revival doesn't have, is that Hideo Kojima is not involved in any capacity, at least right now, with Konami anymore. That history is rocky, that bridge was burned. You can talk about who was at fault, you know, and there, there's tons of stuff here. I think the general consensus is Konami should have treated Hideo Kojima better. I also do understand that there are points that people make of like, Hideo Kojima gets too much credit. There were all these other people, there were co-writers and co-directors and all these other people who mattered too that you could bring back. And I agree with that too. So I just want to say that I understand that's probably the biggest hurdle though. Would people be in support of this? And I'm kind of going to ask you, Nate, what you think without Hideo Kojima? Because I really do think he was the public face at the very least of the Metal Gear brand. Yeah, I guess to start out, I don't know, you know, me personally, I'm kind of weary of any Metal Gear game without Hideo Kojima. He's the, uh, he's the mind behind it, he's the creator of it, he's the, the driving force of the story and stuff like that. It's like, you know, would we want to make a Lord of the Rings sequel without J.R. Tolkien? Or his son, I guess. Or his son. Because his son is pretty involved right. now. Which to me, I know with the Rings of Power stuff, some people like it, some people hate it. Without the original creator of something, it's kind of hard to be as into it as you would if that person was working on it. Right. So that's kind of my thought on his. I, I'm weary. I would be weary of it. I don't know if I would be against it. And I don't know where he is now, but there are other writers. Like one I'm going to mention is Fukushima, who actually was a very, very big hand in Metal Gear Solid 2, yeah. for example. Who, like I said, I don't know what, what he's doing right now. But mm -hmm. if you could bring back some of these other architects, I think this could be done. Yeah. My question is just how would you do it? I mean, even David Hayter, you know, he actually, this this is either going to matter to you or not matter to you at all, but David Hayter is obviously back kind of working with Konami. And, you know, they've kind of been using his, like, likability, I would say, to kind of be like, look, we brought back David Hayter. You guys weren't really a big fan of how he got treated in the latter years of this franchise. And that ties into Kojima too. It's a, it's a whole big kerfuffle. But no matter what side you take on that, I think people like David Hayter. Mm -hmm. They think David Hayter is likable. I think he's a good writer. Mm -hmm. Two of the best X-Men movies. Did you know he wrote the screenplays too? X-Men 1 and 2. I did, yeah. Which I think is incredible. I did. Still sometimes shares behind the scenes stuff about them on Twitter. One of the nicest guys I've, I've ever seen interact with fans. So like David Hayter being back and his writing and acting expertise is something that I think is really good. Mm -hmm. But then you have the the lack of trust. Like, even if you can get people that are very talented to do this, you have the problem that with Silent Hill, there was not one key architect. You had people like Masahiro Ito who were very, very involved, but he's actually still involved. Mm -hmm. You know, he's come back. You don't have that with Kojima. So from that, I think people are already going to be wary of it. I think it could be done, but you won't have that trust. You'd really have to knock it out of the park. Secondly, though, I want to say also that this is going to depend heavily on what they do from here on out. The Metal Gear Solid Master Collection was a mess at launch. I think you and I, even at launch, liked it a lot. It's gotten a lot better, mm -hmm. but it should have never been a mess at launch. They had a lot of time to do a comeback, and it shouldn't have needed a bunch of patches. So I think that that's an important statement. But a lot of the news around uh, Metal Gear, you know, Delta, Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater right now, which is not out yet at the time of recording this, is very good. People are loving it. Mm -hmm. So that is looking good. My question then becomes, what would you do? You know, so like, say that you do make this, say that you do get people on board and you're able to knock it out of the park. And for me, what I personally would do, because I know a lot of people are saying, well, Solid Snake's dead. There's a lot of years in Solid Snake's life that we never got to see. You know, ones that had interesting storylines in them, like for example, his time in philanthropy. Mm -hmm. You know, this was actually after Metal Gear Solid 1, and I thought that would be really interesting to see. Yeah, I think that part would be pretty interesting, because we, we know from Metal Gear Solid 1, he does go off with Meryl. He lives with Meryl for a time, mm -hmm. and then he basically goes back into his work. 
right. uh, and, and um, you know, kind of gets back involved. But I think that would be kind of an interesting part of, of Snake's life to see. Mm -hmm. Because he is doing missions, he is doing, uh, you know, spy work, whatever, again. But what I would want to see in a game is actually not something similar to uh, what we already have with Snake. So, Metal Gear Solid 1, 4, Metal Gear 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. Sorry, there's and so many names. Two. I'm like, I'm part of Solid tied. 2. Yeah, yeah. part of Solid 2. Those games are mainly based around sneaking, stealth, uh, spy work, things like that. You want COD. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I want a shooter. No, you don't. Um, but the thing is, with Metal Gear Solid Five in particular, it's a very open worldy kind of a game. Uh, it's obviously about Big Boss, not not a uh, Solid Snake, but uh, it's a very open worldy game. And I think a lot of those elements would be cool to incorporate into a Solid Snake game. I think so too. I mean, like I know that Big Boss, Venom, you know, all these guys, like they're they're seen as more. All the names. They're seen as more of like open world characters, like survivalists out in the open. Yeah. But Solid Snake can do the same thing. You know, it's not like Solid Snake is incapable of sneaking through a jungle or Solid Snake right. is incapable of sneaking through a desert. Yeah. I think that you could very easily do both because Metal Gear Solid 5, it does have a lot of outdoor portions. It has indoor portions as well. I feel like you could have a perfect blend of these two where you have, you know, these big internal structures that Solid Snake could sneak through during his time in philanthropy, but you could also have infiltration missions and different things like that, or Axfil and things that take place in an open map type right. idea like Metal yeah. Gear Solid Five. I don't know why, you know, it, it's a shame to me that Solid Snake never got to see that kind of action. It doesn't mean it's better, mm -hmm. you know, they're very different, but I would love to see a game that incorporates the best of the Solid era and the best of the big boss era, because that would make me solid. <laughs> right. That would make me very uh, liquid. Oh, well, you'd, <laughs> you'd be solid and then liquid. Yeah, exactly. My other option for this, and it's something that I guess we could just make a whole video on this in the future too, is I do think that there's, there is an opportunity to remake and flesh out the storylines of Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. You know, because those are events that they always reference in the games, and I don't have a problem with those games. I Let's Played the first Metal Gear game on my channel. I'm actually recording a Let's Play of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake right now, and I like them. But there's a lot of people who, no matter what you think about this, will never play those games because of the age of them, because of the technology of them. And even if they will, it's just a straight up fact that the story of those two games is not nearly as deep as the solid stories. It, you know, it was finding its footing. There were technical issues. I don't remember, I think it was Metal Gear 1. They had to remove a lot of cutscene stuff that they had worked on in terms of like dialogue because they didn't have enough room on the cartridges. I mean, like these games, they were finding their footing. Mm -hmm. They're great games, but that's just undeniable. Yeah. And so, but we know that Solid Snake didn't have a super simple story there. It's not like nothing happened and he didn't have any thoughts. Well, we know that important stuff happened because they reference it like a hundred times in Metal Gear Solid 1. Yep. Of his time in Zanzibar, <laughs> uh, which is, I know, is Metal Gear 2. But yeah, no, I think that would be a great example is flesh those games out. Mm -hmm. Because I don't really blame them because something like Assassin's Creed 1. Now, I love Assassin's Creed 1. I'm not trying to hate on it or anything. But they do add on features, and I think they improve stuff like the combat and, and things like that as the time goes on, uh, like the gameplay elements of it. I think the same thing with the Metal Gear 1 and 2 games is they're good, uh, but they've definitely improved those gameplay elements as time has gone on. Yeah, and they, well, I, I wanted to throw in there really quick. There's going to be some people who will jump on that and say, well, actually, I think 1 is the best. Or actually, I think Metal Gear 2, yeah, Solid sure. Snake is the best. And that's fine. Yeah, like, people like what they want. I don't think that they should remove access to these games or anything. These games should be preserved forever. Mm -hmm. I just think that you should have the option to have a deeper version of that story. And that's no hate on Kojima. That's no hate on the writing at the time. For what it was, I've made videos about this, and I'll make more. Those two Metal Gear games revolutionized video games. Mm -hmm. They were incredible. And, and they pushed the MSX architecture to its limits. Yeah. You know, they, they put the MSX on the map in some ways where people were actually paying more attention to that hardware. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's incredible. So there's no, you know, that's no slight to those games. It's just, 
you know, we want to see more of Solid Snake. I think that Kojima, very obviously, his interest in the series as he went on mostly shifted to Big Boss. And that's fine. But for me, Solid Snake was always my favorite. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, to see that character come back who influenced me so much and and I think is this character who's so self-hating and and kind of like thinks he's so broken and so distant but like he ends up affecting the lives of so many people around him to see him come back and get deeper stories again whether they're remakes or whether they are you know a whole new game is something that I think would be really impactful yeah especially with two time periods in his life that are so important to his story yeah that never really got flushed out uh, just because of the technology at the time so, yeah, I, th I think that would be a good move. The Metal Gear series has introduced, obviously, many characters, but we have, like, Big Boss, Solid Snake, uh, Raiden, you know, as playable characters throughout the series. They're all very interesting, but you can definitely tell that Kojima was very interested in Big Boss. Yes. Which I think is kind of sad for both Raiden and Solid Snake. Yeah. Um, I know Raiden gets the Metal Gear... Uh, solid, Rising Revengeance. Rising Revengeance game and stuff like Metal that. Metal Gear, I'm solid. I'm, I'm solid. My, my um, solid parts are rising exactly. and they're going to revengeance in you. Three, <laughs> right. four, yeah, three hundred fifty eight divided up. by two days. <laughs> Rechain of memories. Right. So I think it's just... Coded. Coded. <laughs> so I think that those two characters in particular, I want to see more of. Yes. So, and it's a shame that we never got to see more. It's a shame, actually, I should say, it's a shame that two of the four Solid Snake games that they've made were the original ones, and we never really got to see a fleshed-out story of right. his character in those games. Which, you know, again... Which is not their fault. Yeah, it's just what they it's had just available. It was, yes, but I think they should go back and flesh those out now. I would love to see it. Yeah, and I think that then, you know, you have those side games of, like, different versions of Snake. Like, you have the Metal Gear Acid, which is, like, a different timeline, and you have... Yeah ghost babble and stuff but it's like those aren't in that main original timeline of snake that kind of builds up to four mm -hmm. metal gear solid four mm -hmm. i think that's just kind of a shame and i think that i think he's your favorite too isn't he yeah solid he's snake. Fine. so i don't know i love the other two as well i'd actually love to make a video that that made me think i'd love to make a video soon with you about if raiden should get more games but you know yeah. i and my answer is yes i kind of think so but let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, you want to leave a like, subscribe. Nate, you got any final thoughts that will make me solid? Uh, I think uh, Raiden should be Raiden. Oh! Your solid liquid snake. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Make sure to touch my snake when you're done there, Nate. If you enjoyed the video, I'll leave a like, subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Would you want to see this? Would you not? We do have a Fortnite code. It's a secret Metal Gear Solid game because Solid Snake is in it, actually. Nate missed him in the battle pass, so like I he's know. kicking himself here. I am. You can use our Fortnite code DJAY123. That helps us out a lot, actually, because we don't make much money on these channels at all. But we did play through Metal Gear Solid 1 on our Let's Play channel, Degenerate Plays. We played through Metal Gear 1 on that channel. I know we're playing through Metal Gear 2. I think Nate and I want to play through Twin Snakes sometime near future, so lots of stuff there. And that's in the description. And finally, we do have our own store, Cosmobunny.shop where you can use code DJAY123 for 10% off your first purchase. We have handmade jewelry, awesome items over there. We also have handmade resin pieces from recycled paper. These are coasters and keychains and trays made out of comic book, manga, and magazine paper. A lot of this paper usually ends up in landfills. What we do is we take that paper, we don't print things out. We take paper that already exists, we transform it, we turn it into transformative art for your home. It's supposed to be the whole point of fair use. We take that, we make something new and transformative out of it that we hope you'll enjoy. So DJAY123 for 10% off your first purchase. Have a fantastic day, and as always, everyone, stay shway.